The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. Good morning and welcome to morning prayer for Monday, November 7th at Christ Episcopal Church. <clears throat> I'm Deacon Marcia and I will be leading the prayers this morning and we're so glad that you're able to join us. <clears throat> Let us begin with confession on page 79 if you're using your book of common prayer. <clears throat> Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done and by what we have left undone, we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us with all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Turning to page 80, your book of common prayer. <clears throat> Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Now turning to page 82, let us say together the Venite. <clears throat> the earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you will hearken to his voice. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. And turning to page 702, let us say together Psalm 80. <clears throat> Hear, O shepherd of Israel, leading Joseph like a flock, shine forth that you are enthroned upon the cherubim in the presence of Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh. Stir up your strength and come to help us. Restore us. O God of hosts, show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. O Lord God of hosts, how will you be will you be angered despite the prayers of your people? You have fed them with the bread of tears. You have given them bowls of tears to drink. You have made us the derision of our neighbors, and our enemies laugh us to scorn. Restore us, O God of hosts. Show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. You have brought a vine out of Egypt. You cast out the nations and planted it. You prepared the ground for it. It took root and filled the land. The mountains were covered by its shadow, and the towering cedar trees by its boughs. You stretch out its tendrils to the sea and its branches to the river. Why have you broken down its wall so that all who pass by pluck off its grapes? The wild boar of the forest have ravaged it and the beast and the beast of the field have grazed upon it. Turn now, O God of hosts, look down from heaven Behold and tend this vine, 
preserve what your right hand has planted. They burn it with fire like rubbish. At the rebuke of your countenance, let them perish. Let your hand be upon the man of your right hand, and the son of man you have made so strong for yourself. So will we never turn away from you. Give us life that we may call upon your name. Restore us, O Lord God of hosts. Show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Turning to Canticle 9 on page 86, let us say together the song of Isaiah. Surely it is God who saves us. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my savior. Therefore, you shall draw water from rejoicing, from the springs of salvation. And on that day, you shall say, give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing praises of the Lord, for he has done great things, and this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion, ring out your joy, for the great one in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now, and will be forever. Amen. (coughs) The reading this morning is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 14, verses 12 through 24. He said also to the one who invited him, when you give a luncheon or a dinner, do not invite your friends or your brothers or your relatives or rich neighbors in case they may invite you in return, and you would be repaid. But when you give a banquet, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, and the blind, and you will be blessed, because they cannot repay you. For you will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous. One of the dinner guests, on hearing this, said to him, Blessed is anyone who will eat bread in the kingdom of God. Then Jesus said to him, Someone gave a dinner and invited many. At the time for the dinner, he sent his slave to say to those who had been invited, Come, for everything is ready now. And they are alike, and they all alike began to make excuses. <clears throat> the first said to him, I have bought a piece of land, and I must go out and see it. Please accept my regrets. Another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I am going to try them out. Please accept my regrets. Another said, I have been married, and therefore I cannot come. So the slave returned and reported this to the master. Then the owner of the house became angry and said to his slave, go out at once into the streets and lanes of the town and bring in the poor, the crippled, the blind, and the lame. And the slave slave said, sir, what you ordered has been done, and there is still room. Then the master said to the slave, go out into the roads and lanes and compel people to come in, so that my house may be filled. For I tell you, none of those who were invited will taste my dinner. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Turning now to Canticle 19, um, on page 94 of the Book of Common Prayer. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done. 
surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth. O King of all the ages, who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. And all nations will draw near and fall down before you because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. On turning to page 96, let us say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Continuing with suffrages A, let us stay responsively. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, Keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. O God, whose blessed Son came into the world that we might, he might destroy the works of the devil and make us children of God and heirs of eternal life, grant that, having this hope, we may purify ourselves as he is pure, that when he comes again with power and great glory, we may be made like him in his eternal and glorious kingdom where he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Heavenly God, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 
Let us now take a few moments to offer our own intercessions and thanksgiving. Lord, we ask your prayers for our nation, and we especially ask our prayers during this election season and as people continue to go to the polls and early voting and also tomorrow for election day, we ask for peace and during this process, we ask Lord that you will just guide our nation. Lord, continue to be with us in our churches as we worship you and as we care for one another. We offer thanksgiving, Lord, for the peace in Ethiopia, the agreement, and we hope that it, it leads to continued peace. We ask for your guidance and your blessing in those areas that are torn with war in this world. Amen. Continue on page 101. Let us say together the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for, your, for our creation, preservation, and for the blessings of this life, but above all, for your immeasurable love in the redemption of our world by our Lord Jesus Christ, in the means of grace, and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth our praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives and by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom, with you and the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in your name, that you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us. Grant us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Thanks for joining me this morning, um, and I wish for you a wonderful week and um, look forward to seeing you again soon. Have a great day and a great week. Bye-bye.